Hey and welcome. I quickly going to show you how I managed to get my Samsung S8 on Android 7 uh, working where I wanted to mirror it when it was in the Gear VR. Uh, I actually tried many things but nothing really worked. And I had extreme lag, uh, like one frame every three seconds or so. So I did some testing and I yeah, found out this works the best for me and I hope that it can work for you guys too. Um, okay, what did I do? Uh, first, I have to you have to unlock uh, or set your phone to developers mode. Um, as you can see, this here is a copy of my phone, so I can go to my settings. Uh, as you can see, maybe it's a Dutch phone, but everyone has the same settings. Um, there is a button. Uh, it's uh, a info of your phone. You click on it. When you do that you have to tap the the model number like 10 times uh, for me it's already in developer mode so i cannot do it again but when you start tapping it it will start counting down three two one and then you're in developer's mode uh, once you did uh, done that you can go there to settings but i will show you that later on because else i would get a black uh, little square in my uh, screen um, for now that is that part um, what software I use for it is uh, uh, this one mirror mirroring 360 it's actually an app uh, and uh, also for your computer uh, yeah you can just download it in the app store I will put a link in the description uh, where you can download this one it's really uh, easy to download actually um, I do have to say it's a, a seven day trial and um, for fourteen dollars you have uh, the full version so it's not really expensive but it uh, work works really well I tried on several different apps and this one gave me the best quality um, so what do you have to do I will close this one down for the now when you open it uh, you will get this little thing and uh, you have to make sure that your uh, phone and your uh, computer or laptop at the moment this is my computer uh, it will also work on my laptop um, have to they have to be on the same uh, network or on the same uh, Wi-Fi channel um, yeah the easiest thing is just to uh, when you once you download it you go to uh, your laptop of your uh, sorry your phone you fire up your um, your phone you can there select your uh, your devices well for this one this is my desktop and it will automatically start recording uh, with sounds I have to turn off the sounds no audio and I have to do it again. Stop me running. And sorry, now the sound is gone. I just recently added the sounds to it. Um, well, as you could see uh, in the top right corner, there are the settings. For me, they are now actually on the highest settings. It's uh, 1080p, and the mirroring is, uh, quality is on high. Um, it actually, yeah, worked fine for me uh, with these settings. Um, well, as I uh, mentioned, you have to be on the same setting, uh, same Wi-Fi, so you, yeah, you have actually, uh, actually a same copy of your on your phone. Uh, what you have to do then um, is go uh, back to your settings, uh, and bottom of your settings you have uh, developer modes. Uh, you can click on that, and then you have to scroll down till you see. Yeah, it's all in Dutch. Uh, this is easy to to see. It's one 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 one. And it says uh, the one beneath that is the secondary uh, screen simulation. So you click once on that, and then you have these options. Um, I actually tried it and matched the uh, results, but I couldn't find any yeah, difference on the 4 uh, 480p or the 1080p. So I just yeah keep it on the low one. And here you have the black little screen I was talking about. Um, well now what you can do is just go back to your main settings I'll just take my um, yeah, you cannot see it but I will just take my gear here 
it's uh, just uh, the latest Gear VR that it comes with the controller. Um, this is actually I just started up the uh, the red logo on my screen. This is an app I'm working on myself at the moment. It's for my work. I can't show you too much, but you already you can see here it's working really well there is no lag whatsoever uh, I, I could go to the buttons but it's still a work in progress and we're still in the design phase so I cannot show anything else than this but I can show you the normal oculus so it's actually working for your own uh, apps but also just for the normal because I want to just put it back in now it will of course start the oculus stuff let's wait over if you wonder you can just go full screen what I'm where you are looking at is a, a 4k monitor so that it doesn't really matter because it's just the phone that is sending the images which as you can see it's flawless smooth and everything else uh, I can use my controller I have I don't have it on my head at the moment I'm, I have my finger in front of the uh, what is it sensor so it's thinking I'm have I have it on my head so I still can yeah the controller as you can see here yeah everything is working it's smooth yeah what else uh, do you want so that's uh, basically it you have to go to the, the settings put it on 480p for your sc second screen oh by the way if you want to turn it off again because it's still on uh, then you have uh, because here there's still a black little screen if you want to turn it off again you have to go back to the settings developer modes uh, go back to the 111 stuff and to the top one it says none and then you're uh, back out of it I will just close my full screen for now and this is this is actually the only uh, solution I got uh, so far. I didn't test um, what is it uh, Chromecast, but uh, yeah, this works for me. Uh, it's only fifteen dollars. Uh, uh, yeah, for the license, maybe uh, you can uh, get the educational one. I saw on their website it was for free. I don't know if it's still open. This is their website. Uh, you can say for buy now. Yes, um, it is free, but you have to contact them. And maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's f only for fifteen dollars. I didn't buy it, to be honest. Uh, I, I recently found it out on Monday. I will go to my boss at work and say, "Well, uh, we need this because uh, if you want to see it on your screen, uh, what what we will see, then we need this." So, um, I hope uh, this is enough information for if we will to get uh, the stuff working. If you uh, still have questions. Yeah, just uh, ask them, and I hope uh, I can help you out. Even though I don't know know much about, f yeah, phones. Oh, I do have to say my phone is rooted, but I really don't think that should be any issue if it's rooted or not, since it's just a normal app, and there's no other settings I did actually to the phone. So, good luck. <laughs>